Hello and welcome back to the Commander Lurpak YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be making some modular road sections for my Warhammer 40k city board. Hope you enjoy the video. I've had a lot of people ask where I get my crafting materials from, so I thought I would start off the video with a short shopping trip to Lawrence Matthews in Southend. I'm in Lawrence Matthews and this is where I get most of my terrain building stuff. As you can see, they have a very impressive uh, collection. Um, and this is where I get all of my uh, foam panels. I've also got some thicker styrofoam sections. Um, lots of MDF dowels and things. Lots of handy stuff to make terrain. And then also all of the uh, scenery, uh, static grass and flocking, whatever you can think of. So I'm rather privileged when it comes to where I can buy my terrain building stuff. And today I'm going to be picking up some of this cork sheeting, which is what I'm going to build my road sections out of. If you have seen any of my other terrain videos, you will know I've learnt the importance of planning the hard way. I've learnt from my mistakes and decided to draw out a plan for my roads. And my road layout evolved around my existing board sections of ruined buildings. This enabled me to check scale and also to make sure there was enough space on the board in between the buildings. So I've just cut all of the uh, road tile sections and placed them onto the board um, in the layout with my current board sections um, that I did in my little sketch. Um, so I'm just seeing if it's a layout that will work for me and generates enough space on the board for the movement of tanks and vehicles while still allowing for some uh, line of sight blocking terrain such as these buildings so i think it works quite well because you've still got an open section over here where tanks can move through and then you've got the main thoroughfare here um, and there's a bit of an alleyway between these two buildings as well but uh, I'm pretty happy with the layout, so I'm now going to go on to uh, laying down the road surface using the cork sheeting we bought earlier. Um, oh yeah, I should mention this is just MDF sheets. Um, I'm actually using 6mm instead of the normal 9mm because I didn't have any 9mm MDF. So um, make use with what you have. So I'm going to cut my... Uh, cork sheet into 8 inch by 24 inch uh, strip for the 2 foot by 1 foot section. Um, let's give it a go. <sighs> And there we have our first road section cut from the cork. Let's see how it matches up with the tile. So here you can see I've just laid the cork section. I've cut out 8 inches by 24 inches on the uh, 2 foot by 1 foot road section. So that will be this one here. Um, the reason we're using cork is because it has this great texture on it which will look great once painted and also I plan on cutting out some uh, cracks and craters in it to make it look like it's been in a war-torn city that has been 
quite badly damaged. Um, some of it's actually already broken off and you can see the sort of texture that you're going to be able to get on the road surface. And I think this will um, create quite a cool realistic look. And um, so let's get on and cut out the rest of the board sections. So I've cut out all of the road sections and put them onto their tiles as you can see um, and I just need to stick them on now using the good old Yoohoo. I've just glued on all of the road sections using Yoohoo glue and I'm now going to go over the top of them with Mod Podge. Uh, and this is going to soak in to the cork surface and um, just make it harden up and give it a bit more um, securement to the board. Securement, is that the right word? A bit more adhesion adhesion to the boards that sounds better um yes let's do that right so the mod podge on the roads is pretty much dry and i've realized that i've forgotten something um, that roads have which is curbs and it'll look a bit weird if the road is higher than the surrounding um, pavement or whatever so I'm gonna cut this um, foam board into strips um, to make a curb and I'm gonna edge this up around all the cork road sections because um, I like making more work for myself So I've just cut out all of the curb sections uh, from the foam board and I'm going to stick them to the board using the good old Yoohoo and um, cut them to size as I do so. Here we have a road section with the kerb glued on. But I'm gonna add some detailing to the kerb a bit later once I've done the rest of them. So I've finished sticking on all of the kerb sections to the board using Yoohoo. Um, next up, I'm gonna be uh, making some detailing on the curb sections. I'm gonna add some indentations using a pencil. Uh, so let's get on with that. So using my trusty ruler and my trusty pencil, I'm going to do indentations on the roads, basically a ruler's width apart. Oh, it's on the curb. And 
you just push down with the pencil into the foam and it creates a quick and easy indentation and then hopefully this will look like curb stones and then you just draw the line downwards and do that on the both sides Got yourself a curb stone. So I've just finished um, putting in all of the indentations in the curb to make them look like curb stones. I think this has come out quite well, um, if I do say so myself. Um, next up, I'm going to be using my craft knife to cut some craters and cracks and just general wear and tear in the cork road surface, maybe even cutting a couple of the curb stones away. I always like to build it um, completely intact first and then ruin it as I think this makes a bit more realistic battle damage than designing something ruined. Um, off we go. my first crater done I'm going to be filling it in with AK puddles so it will look much deeper than what it is and I've just glued back on the cork um, that I cut out from it around the edge to make it look like the debris from the explosion. I'm also going to be applying um, my gravel and sand and exterior filler mix um, to create some in-between uh, scale rubble. Uh, so it should look a bit more dense. So I'm going to do a few more of these all over the roads and see where we get to. So I've just finished cutting up the uh, road sections and making craters and rubble um, and pretty happy with how it's come out. So the next step will be to get the good old Mod Podge and seal in all the areas where we've cut out uh, just to make sure that they stay nice and protected um, and then we will move on to adding some more rubble this is with great sadness that my mod podge has finally come to pass there is another there is another Lovely jubbly. So the second coat of the Mod Podge has dried on the boards and this will seal in all of the soluble materials um, such as the foam board curbs and where we've cut the cracks in the cork. Uh, the next step will be to add some rubble to the edges of the pavement um, as there's meant to be buildings next to them, um, which you can see from my earlier projects. Um, and these are meant to have like blown up and created lots of rubble. So it'd be weird if there wasn't a bit of rubble on the, on the pavement. Um, so in order to make this rubble, I'm uh, cheating and I'm using the rubble uh, that's left over from when I made um, rubble for my buildings. Uh, if you want to watch the video of me doing that, there'll be a link to it like up here if I can figure that out. Um, 
But yeah, it's basically exterior filler mixed with sand and gravel. And then um, once I'd used it on the buildings, what was left had dried in the bottom of this plastic bucket. And because it doesn't adhere to plastic, um, it breaks off once it's dried and you've got some nice different size bits of uh, rubble. So I'm going to stick these on um, along the edges of the curb using Yoohoo. So let's get on with that. So I've just finished uh, the rubble sections on the edge of the roads. I didn't go too mad with these because I wanted the majority of the curb section to be mud to contrast the uh, concrete and asphalt look of the road. Uh, I'm now going to spray the boards black, just using the cheap spray paint, um, so they'll be ready for painting. So I've sprayed all of my roads black and now I'm going to give it another coat of black uh, by hand, just cheap acrylic paint with a brush uh, just to just to even it out and give it another coat. I've just finished painting all of the road sections black um, and I'm now going to paint on some grey acrylic paint using a fan brush and I'm just going to very lightly dry brush this over the road surface to try and highlight the texture of the cork and the rubble and this should hopefully make it pop a bit more. Uh, let's see how that looks. So I've finished doing the grey dry brushing on all of the road sections um, and now I am going to do a black wash um, over all the road sections. So I've just finished the black wash on the roads and now I'm going to go back over with a white highlight uh, just dry brushing the roads uh, even lighter than before with the grey and this will just help pick out uh, all of the little details. So I've just finished the white highlighting on all of the roads and this has just made all of the texture of the rubble and the cork uh, pop out a bit more and contrast the uh, darkness of the black wash that we did. Uh, next step will be to paint the sides of the road brown and then start putting the mud on. A few moments later. I've just painted all of the sides of the roads brown um, I helpfully didn't record this step, but as you can see, they are now brown. Um, you can see the contrast that this is going to create between the concrete of the road and the mud of uh, the side of the road. Um, so the next step will be to put some mud over the top of the brown. So I'm going to be using Vallejo Thick European Mud uh, and I'm going to test out applying it with this Citadel Texture Tool. See how that goes.
thousand years later. So I've just finished putting on all of the mud onto the board sections. Um, I've just done it around the edges and I've put some mud in amongst the rubble and mainly along the edges of the curbs just to try and blend in the transition from the uh, like concrete tarmac road to the muddy sidewalk. Um, I'm now on the next step, gonna be adding some AK puddles um, to these craters on the road and hopefully this should look pretty good, um, but let's see how it goes. So I've just finished putting on the AK puddles onto all the craters and cracks in the road surfaces. I'm pretty happy with how they've come out so far. Um, they still need to cure, so there's still time for disaster to happen. Um, but so far, so good. Uh, the next step will be to put some grass tufts into the muddy areas and maybe a few just growing out of the road surface. So let's get on with that now. I've just finished putting on all of the grassy tufts onto the road sections. And now I am going to apply a um, road marking down the center of the road the white stripes. Um, I've cut a uh, little template and I'm gonna use a sponge and some white paint and stipple it on to the road surface and see how that comes out. So I've put my template, uh, which is just cut out from watercolor paper onto the road. Um, Stuck it roughly in the middle, 10 centimetres, because it's a 20 centimetre road. Um, and it's three centimetres from the edge so that the uh, dotted line should connect up if there's another road section on the other end, because then that will be the same distance in between. Uh, now I'm gonna get me sponge, put a bit of white on, Take lots and lots and lots of white off. And then very carefully slip it on.
So I've just finished doing all of the road markings on the road tiles and I'm pretty happy with how they've come out. I was pretty terrified to do this actually and considered not doing it but I'm glad I manned up and got on with it. Um, some of the road markings such as these ones come out a bit too white uh, so what I'm going to do is use some of that black wash that I made earlier and just uh, very uh, gently, lightly, whatever the word is, put that over the top to dull it down a bit. So I've uh, dulled down some of the road markings using that black wash so they're not quite so vibrant um, and I've added on some uh, extra details such as these um, crates on some of the board sections just to add a bit more detail. Um, now I'm going to add some posters um, just littered around the board, um, just some propaganda posters. Um, I'm being helped by my assistant. <laughs> it is uh, cutting out lots of little propaganda posters. Aren't you the luckiest wife? Cheap Eastern European lady. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly are. You're not cheap. Um, and I will also add some um, Blood for the Blood God because um, I'm sure some poor guardsman has met a grisly fate on these roads. So I've added some uh, blood effects onto the board, just onto um, a couple of the tiles. Um, I didn't want to go too mad because there's a lot of blood on the other board sections that I've done so far. And I've just started to um, apply some posters to the board. Um, I'm sticking down the posters of course using the Holy Mod Podge. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and yeah, you just apply a Mod Podge to the bottom of the poster and then um, over the top just to seal it in. And you can get these cool uh, folded paper effects by doing so. So I've just finished putting on all the propaganda leaflets onto the board sections and now I'm going to um, apply some more AK puddles uh, to all of the muddy sidewalk, sidewalk, my American, pavement sections, yes, to give it that wet mud look. It's finally done. I've finished all the board sections. Hooray! I can't remember what the last step I said I was doing, but um, yeah, it's all done. And the last thing I've just done was to uh, paint all the black edging on the tiles, which took a lot longer than I was expecting, but it just uh, finishes it off. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna put the road sections together, see what they look like and then i'm going to put the rest of the board and show off the full six by four board very excited to finally get it all together let's see how it looks <laughs> So 
So I've just finished laying out the board and I thought I'd show you my little sketch I did at the beginning again um, and show you what the board looks like. So I now have a fully finished 6x4 city board. I do however have some other terrain ideas such as a fully working crane board section and some other board sections for the city. So uh, check out any future terrain videos on the channel. I release a new video every two weeks on Sunday. So check back in two weeks and see what new nonsense I've come up with. Thanks for watching and bye. Right, so I've just cut out, no, I've already cut them out. I've just, <laughs> let's start again. So I've just glued on all of the cork uh, sections using Mod Podge. No, I haven't done that. <laughs> Fuck me. I've just glued on all of the cork road sections using, meh, <laughs> meh. Yo-ho. <laughs> I know what it's called, I just can't form sentences.